So another how to fix your Elgato delay. This video is being brought to you by these two awesome people that are telling me that this type of video would be very dope to create. If you guys want any other type of tips, how to make thumbnails, etc., like the video, comment down below what you guys exactly need help with, and I'll make sure to make that video drop. Now let's get into fixing your issue. Now this should already be self-explanatory, but let's get into the things that you're gonna need. You're first off gonna need a laptop or a gaming desktop. Either of these need to be powerful enough to be able to withhold OBS Studio or Streamlabs. You're also going to need the Elgato HD 60 capture card as well as OBS studio or OBS Streamlabs, which will both be linked down below in the description now, this really is the simple part I just want to make sure we're all on the same page if you're trying to be a content creator you should know how to download files and it's really that easy you go to OBS studio you go to OBS Streamlabs you hit the download and you follow the download instructions that's a little too hard for you I think some of you guys might need to rethink being a content creator because this realistically is the easy part a simple download so now that you have OBS studio downloaded and also obs streamlabs downloaded i'm going to show you guys how to actually do the fix super simple so what you're going to do when you first open obs studio is everything's going to be blank you're going to have nothing on your scenes you want to pretty much make this your console gameplay scene it doesn't really matter what you name it to be completely honest then you're going to go to your sources right click hit add and you're going to add a video capture device that is where you can select your Elgato or either your camera device if you guys do end up using a camera. And this is pretty much where we can get into the fix. Since I already have a scene set up with all my sources, I just kind of want to show you guys what's going to be different from yours. Really, the only thing that's there is my camera, my Elgato, and all my overlays, which you don't even have to put a delay to because there's going to be no input and no output, obviously. So once you finally have your scenes and your sources hooked up, you're then going to go to the audio mixer. You're going to right click it. And this is where you can actually put in the delay that is going to fix your Elgato delay which is 650 millisecond delay and as you guys can clearly tell I leave the camera delay blank because you have to make a filter audio delay for your camera if you make the delay in the audio mixer it's not gonna work your camera and your mic are still gonna be out of sync and it's not gonna work ladies and gentlemen but if you do the filter on your actual camera like I showed it will work so now we have OBS Streamlabs coming up and it's honestly just the exact same thing so if you follow the steps that you did on OBS studio for your OBS Streamlabs, it's gonna work because it's exactly the same way you pretty much make a new scene make new sources with your Elgato your camera and everything and you just put 650 milliseconds as your delay in the audio mixer and you're also going to put that same little filter on your camera same steps not that hard realistically only difference let's say on your obs streamlabs you're actually streaming you're going to have your alert box you know when you get followers subs bits etc you want to also delay that and that's pretty much it ladies and gentlemen to fix this elgato hd60 audio delay i know it's a very huge problem and i know it can be a headache at times let's say that this doesn't work if you guys have problems and stuff like that please just put a comment down below and i'll try to help as many people as I can if this did help you guys I would appreciate a like comment subscribe and just know that this fix is actually from the Elgato team they've let us know with an article that the Elgato has a 650 millisecond delay so you don't want to delay the Elgato you just want to delay everything else by that number and let's say the number doesn't work for you I would just use 650 as a placeholder and just move it up and down to find the sweet spot if you still can't figure it out hit me up like I said before in the comment section and I'll try to help as many people as I can as always it's me boy Chris here I'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to put those post notifications on. Peace.